Good morning, YouTube. Today, we're going to start converting this Ferrari F430 into a manual using a Dr. S conversion kit. So, are you recording all of the nefarious activities? If you're new to the channel, my name is Dan, and that is Josh. And right here is our Dr. S conversion kit that we just got, and we are going to use it to convert this Ferrari F430 from an F1 transmission into a manual, and then it's going to be glorious. It's also gonna be more reliable and, well, just a hell of a lot more fun to drive. So we just got the kit, we just unboxed it in our last video, so check that out if you haven't seen it. We're gonna do as much as we can today. So we are going to be doing a transmission in conversion. That means we are not going to have to pull the transmission, which means we have a lot less work to do, which is great, but we still have a lot of work to do. So let's get wrenching and see how far we can get. Real quick, before we get started, please like, share, and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and go visit normalguyssupercar.com. There you can buy parts and services for your car, and check out NG Supercars, our dealership. That is where this car is going to be for sale as soon as we are done converting it. So if you're interested in buying it, check it out. Sales at ngsupercars.com if you want to hit us up and make an offer. Josh, you ready to wrench? I'm ready. This, I mean, <laughs> Yuri, it doesn't look too bad. There's not a whole lot of parts here. I mean, it's not crazy, right? So yeah. basically, we're going to be removing, we got to remove the seats. We got to get the center console out. We got to get, there's actually, believe it or not, already a spot for the manual version of this car. We're going to have to remove the shift paddles. We have to install the master cylinder up here in the front. So we're going to have to remove the front liner and stuff like that. So we do have a lot of stuff to do. So I guess the first thing we're going to do is just pop this up on a lift and remove the bottom trays. So the first thing that we're gonna do on this Ferrari F430 to convert it is we're gonna remove the bottom panels and that means we're gonna remove the bottom panel and uh, we're also gonna remove the diffuser. So to do a conversion though, you don't need to move just the rear bottom panel, you actually need to remove this front one too and even this tray right here because the hydraulic lines for the clutch are gonna run down underneath this panel. So we gotta get all these tons and tons of bolts out. So all this stuff all the way back because basically you got to run a line all the way from up there in the front to back here where the transmission is. Well, here's the bottom tray. Ooh, cobwebs. Hey, Ooh, look at those pretty headers. It's dry. Oh, wow. Those look nice. Good and shiny. It's pretty clean under here, actually. All in the cobwebs. I just got to clean up. Yeah. Belt looks good. Looks like a new AC compressor. Oh, I, like it's been replaced. I bet it has. Ooh, no leaks. TV boots look good. No leaks from the valve covers look good. Oh, nice. Even the engine mounts are in good shape. Yeah, so those uh, look those look new. Yeah, those, those are look very very new. Oh wait, he said he did say they they replaced them. That oh, would explain okay. that. This panel off. Gotta this. get this one. I screwed up, and you don't remove these center ones, you only remove the outer ones, and then all the 13 millimeters. Here it comes. There. Ooh. Gross. You gotta redo those. Yeah, just re-glue them. Yep. On the front panel, don't forget those. <laughs> those ones, yeah, you need an extension. <laughs> That's it. I know, I can't believe. There it goes. There we go. All right, so basically the clutch lines that come down from this approximate area and go along here. So the clutch line will run along here, back here to here. Here is the squid. This is the hydraulic shift box that goes away. Bye-bye. Uh, and uh, so here is the clutch lines and then the shift cable. Sorry, the shift cables will go back here and the clutch line goes to here. The shift cables actually come out right here this little plug that is the plug that is inside the cabin behind the passenger seat so it's already literally got the hole drilled for the shift cable so the shift cables come out here clutch cable comes way up there both of them come back here Ferrari wanted this car to be a manual. oh yeah this car was meant to be a manual all right so josh is going to start on the interior i'm going to start on the front so we have to pop off this panel there's like a actually a bunch of allen screws right there so all those come off it removes this panel so let me pop those out real quick okay we've got the front panel off a quick note some of these right here have like the black tar stuff on them they're kind of a bitch to get out so you just gotta twist twist and then kind of give it a good tug and it pops off so now when you're taking off this piece right here it's just literally like a foam piece to kind of separate it out you want to cut it 
pretty close to where you know you can make a uh, basically we're gonna just tape it back in place and we're all done so cut it with a sharp knife in a reasonably straight fashion you know around the edges so we can put it back into place and then kind of fold it down so here we go okay so you can see we've got the front panel down we got the access right here so the clutch actually goes way in there it's actually very hard to see uh so it's hopefully you got small hands uh it's it sucks this is actually one of the trickiest parts of the whole thing so there is the alarm right here sometimes it helps to remove that to get more space but effectively we got to put the clutch master cylinder way in there and then we also have the remote mount for the tank so we've got this really cool aluminum reservoir this is going to be for the clutch fluid and then over here is our clutch again so this is a willwood clutch cylinder but it's actually been modified to work for this setup so you can't just use a regular old willwood one so don't because it'll blow out the seals and you're gonna have stuff leaking everywhere so then the other piece is right here this is the clutch cable or the clutch line that runs from the master cylinder to the actual clutch so what's gonna happen is the master cylinder will end up going down there we'll have the reservoir mounted somewhere up here and then we'll run the line down there and then back to the transmission all right i'm not sure you can see that like right there that was where this little plate is so we had to remove it uh i had to use a really long extension with a swivel socket it's 13 millimeter and it's locked tight in there so it is really tight and you gotta put a lot of pressure on it to get it to break loose also in order to get to it i had to pull out right here the alarm speaker so that i've just got dangling for now so I'm gonna put in the clutch there, and then we're gonna have the master reservoir up here so that we can actually fill it up. So those are going in next, and then we're gonna run the line down. All right, YouTube, uh, I was able to get the clutch in. I don't have the reservoir mounted yet. I'm still just trying to figure out like, where is the best place for it? I'll get it in a minute. Josh, on the other hand, has made lots of progress. Here's the interior of the car. <laughs> so all of that's out and then, all right, so we're gonna have some stuff that we have to do for the wiring. And of course, now we have the fun thing of removing the brake pedal and putting in the new clutch and brake pedal. Oh boy. And then of course, the shift box will go here and then the shift cables will go back there. We're already making really good progress. We've only been working on it for like an hour or two. All right, YouTube. So we sent an email to Dr. S saying, hey, we can't really figure out where this thing's supposed to go. And he's like, hey, actually, you guys are the first one to get the new remote mounting kit with a 430. So he's already had it done on 360s and it just bolts in place. Well, uh, it looks like the 430 has a different setup because the brake master cylinder, the brake reservoir is totally a different design. Hopefully uh, by the time this video comes out or something soon, they're gonna be working on a new design and stuff. So anyway, we just kind of zip tied it in place for now. I know it's a little bit janky. Uh, I'm assuming we can get a new bracket made for it soon but uh we don't really have fabrication ability here there it is for now anyway uh so i'm gonna run the rest of that clutch line down and then we can button up up here and that's all i had to do in this area okay youtube here comes one of the not as fun parts i need to cut up the center console yeah i know I gotta cut carbon fiber so basically this piece right here needs to be removed so this bridge and then the bottom part down here all gets cut out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a cut here, a cut here, then we're gonna flip it over and basically cut out this piece right here. And then once we get it out, we can sectionalize it. Uh, first, just gotta remove it once, then we can remove it in a better fashion. So that was where the buttons go. That is now where the tower will stick out and this piece will go. Okay, so I got this cut out so that you can see now that fits right there. You actually got the bolt in? I got it in. No way. Yeah. Well, I got the first one in. I got a so there's an, another one that goes on where the clutch switch goes. Yeah. And the clutch switch is just hanging there, so I got to stick it in there and then rotate it until I feel it grab. So it's kind of a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. It's a bitch. Well, Josh took on um, the crappy job that requires you to lay on your back and hurt your back and be in cramped spaces <laughs> for an hour plus. I was smart and did the clutch. <laughs> now I know. Yep. I suppose next time it's my turn. Oh, snap. There you go, YouTube. We have three pedals. 
Hooray. They're not adjusted, but they're in, and that's what's important. And what so, a pain in the ass. Yeah, so. <laughs> what a pain in the ass those pedals are. That's probably the worst part of this whole thing. I think it is, honestly. Especially if you're taller. If you're smaller and you got a little smaller hands or something, it'd be a lot easier, but there's, yeah, it sucks. When Josh volunteered to do that, I was like, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I'll do the clutch. <laughs> I think that's a good stopping point for the day. So we'll show you a time lapse and we'll continue on in a second.